and what's going on guys Alex here and right now let's go to the review of the Black Shark V2 Pro. This headset was released in the year 2023 and if you can hear right now it has pretty good microphone. So right now I'm recording myself on two microphones, the first one is located on my camera that will be NTG video microphone and this microphone actually uses 3.5mm audio jack and also at the same time it uses such thing as power as the battery in itself. So right now the actual record quality is set to the 7 to 8 out of 15 on my NTG microphone and right now I will transfer to the microphone of this headset. So this headset, what, what can I talk about this headset? This headset is actually really, really good. And as you can hear right now, this headset is recording myself on my computer. And so the thing is that if we're talking about this headset, this headset is... Uh, pretty good. It has amazing microphone and it was advertised as the best microphone on the market on a wireless headset. So the headset can be connected to your PC using two functions. First of all, it would be Bluetooth and the second one will be 2.4 GHz channel. So right now I'm located outside so you can hear a little bit of the outside noises. And right now I am moving so you can understand how good quality of 2.4 GHz channel is. So this uh, headset is, is actually wireless as I have said before and the thing is that it has power reserve, the battery power reserve of something around 70 hours. Of course these 70 hours can be achieved using such thing as Bluetooth because Bluetooth actually consumes a little bit less battery than it consumes 2.4 GHz channel so it would be some around 45 to 50 hours if we're talking about 2.4 gigahertz channel so the thing is that if we're talking about this headset this headset sounds pretty okay but as you can hear right now using this microphone this microphone sounds a little bit better even a little bit better than my ntg microphone of course the thing is that uh, ntg microphone uh, catches a little bit of echoes in my room because my room is pretty empty and of course the microphone near my mouth it records my sound a little bit better but right now let's go to Razer Synapse and see how actually Razer Synapse offers our functions so right now let's enter Razer Synapse in order to understand the quality of the microphone so as you can hear and as you can see right now my microphone is set to 100% with enhancements of volume normalization and vocal clarity so right now you can hear me on default and also one of my favorite options is broadcast as you can hear right now during the broadcast function turned on i have a little bit more bass in my voice but if we're talking about voice clarity then default would be simply simply good of course there are such functions as microphone boost and as you can hear right now it sounds a little bit better in some terms because the middles are a little bit higher and of course there will be broadcast with bass boost and it will be conference which will produce actually pretty low quality voice and it will not use the microphone at its fullest of course if we're talking about different functions so first of all it would be voice gate so if we're talking about voice gate it will set to one so essentially as you can hear right now one two three four and five so the thing is that if we're talking about voice gate it makes me sound a little bit worse because the voice gate actually the thing which it does it cuts off the lowest parts of my voice and especially if we're talking about voice gate on number five in that case you can hear me a little bit interrupted so that's why your voice gate we will turn simply off of course the volume normalization is the function is uh, pretty incredible in the terms that it will lower your screams and it will get your whispers a little bit higher so it normalizes the voice so for example if we will turn off everything every enhancement in that case as you can hear right now i you're hearing me a little bit worse so the thing is that if i will scream in that case you will hear me with a little bit distortions and the same if I will whisper in that case you will not hear me pretty good and with the volume normalization if I will whisper you will still hear me pretty good so if you're talking about vocal quality vocal clarity the thing which it does it actually by turned on it 
boosts your lowest and by that the clarity of your voice is getting a little bit better. When you buy this headset is wireless power saving. Because the wireless power saving not only saves your power if your headset is not used for let's say 15 to 60 minutes but also it creates uh, not distortions but it lowers the quality of your voice. So that's why let's turn it on and you can hear right now that the quality is a little bit worse. So if we will turn it off the quality will still be pretty good. So, if you're talking about sound, of course, there is such option as stereo and THX special audio, and it is one of the benefits of getting this headset, because THX special audio, it was a paid feature with subscription on the previous headsets or from Razer, and right here, THX special audio is actually the thing which boosts the quality of the headset and without any subscription additional needed. Of course, uh, the quality of the sound is pretty okay, the, the thing is that this microphone and this headset is more oriented towards gamers, so that's why the quality of music will be not as good as, for example, at Sony's 1000 XM5 or XM6, but still you can connect this headset using Bluetooth to your phone. Of course, this microphone can be detached from the headset, so you can use this headset as a usual headset with your phone, for example. And the battery of uh, 70 hours actually makes this headset pretty, pretty great. Of of course, uh, the sound is uh, oriented towards gamers and that's why the sound is more oriented towards you understanding the position of your enemies or your colleagues from the game in the space. So that's why with this actual headset you can understand much better where your enemy is focused, so in front, uh, in the back or somewhere from the right and from the left. It is much better compared to, let's say, the same Krakens, because I have had them before. The Krakens have such function as vibration in your headset, so it makes uh, the basses boosted and uh, it makes the sound in the game sound a little bit different, so it's quite a good of an experience, but you can hear your enemies a little bit worse, so this headset is more made for competitive gaming. If we're talking about positive sides of this microphone and positive sides of this headset, as you can hear, microphone sounds pretty good. I will tell it a little bit more in this video because uh, you can hear and I'm recording myself on this microphone for almost the whole video. If we're talking about the headset, the headset actually has two buttons on itself and one knob. If we're talking about the knob, the knob is pretty good in terms that it is connected when it is connected to your computer. In that case, it uh, actually makes uh, the sound not on the headset itself, but it uh, controls the sound of the windows. So that's why you do not need to control uh, specifically the sound of windows and specifically sound of your headset. Also the thing is that it has two buttons. First it will be microphone turned off, but of course you can simply unplug the microphone if you do not need one. And it has one power button. This power button is actually used in order to connect to Bluetooth accessories and it also being used in order to turn on and off this headset. And the same as uh, on the keyboard Deathstalker V2 Pro, it is being used for controlling your music. So one push of the button, one short press, it will pause and play the music, uh, two presses will skip to the next track, and three presses will actually go back to the previous track. So what are the downsides of this headset? The downsides of this headset are pretty obvious. First of all, it will be priced, because the price of approximately $200 is uh, pretty, pretty expensive. Of course, let's not forget that you can get a mid-range headset from the same Razer, uh, let's say Kraken, wired Kraken with the same uh, vibration feature with Hypersense, and also you can get some specific microphone from, let's say, Fifon for $50, and the quality of the microphone will be much better. But if we're talking about some portative, let's say, portative gaming uh, with your laptop, let's say, in that case, you do not want to connect uh, more devices to your laptop in order to uh, spare some space on your desktop. So the thing is, uh, the next thing which is uh, obvious, the downside of this headset is the fact that it doesn't have 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So the only possibility for you to use this uh, headset is uh, for you to connect this headset wirelessly using 2.4 gigahertz channel or Bluetooth. So talking about the pluses of this 
handset. First of all, as I said before, and I will say maybe a little bit more, the microphone is simply amazing for the headset and it's pretty big for the headset, but it works incredible. And of course, the process is that the latency in this headset is very, very low, at least on 2.4 GHz channel. And uh, as you can hear right now, my neighbors are working. And uh, let's uh, right now, let's say, turn on the microphone noise cancellation. So let's tell, let's say, 260%. And as you can hear right now, you can hear the sounds a little bit worse. And that's a good thing. So if we're talking about pluses, so as I said before, microphone, then it will be the quality of the speakers because speakers are pretty big and of course build quality is incredible because i have uh, played uh, raft with my friend for approximately six to seven hours uh, with one session and first of all the battery life is incredible because right now as you can see my battery life is uh, at 63 percent and i'm recording myself and so i was talking at discord with my friend during gameplay and uh, the headset is incredible in terms of fatigue because the fatigue is non-existent with this headset. It has plush ear caps and the plush ear caps actually provides you with great noise cancellation from outside. So that's why when I was playing with my friend, I have put my headset right here in order to hear myself a little bit better and in order to hear what is happening around me. So then passive noise cancellation is pretty incredible and that's really good. And talking about fatigue also, the band of this headset is uh, very soft and it doesn't uh, give you fatigue from playing and from using this headset so this is a big plus so for example when i'm playing during daytime and when i'm for example listening to music during daytime i prefer to use this headset because the quality of the sound is good i do not have any fatigue and also i am uh, not disturbing my neighbors and this is compared to laptop speakers, which are pretty good in my case. So summing up everything, what you can tell about this headset. The headset is uh, really good. It is made more for the competitive gamers. The fatigue is non-existent. Microphone is amazing. So I can highly recommend this headset to almost everyone who has enough money for it. Because this headset is pretty expensive for the gaming headset because $200, around $200 is pretty, pretty a lot. But if you want to have a pretty good uh, microphone quality, if you want to have a pretty okay sound of this uh, headset, in that case, this uh, headset is simply made for you. Of course, there are other options to get, but in my personal opinion, this headset is the best thing you can get in the year 2023. So, if you like this video, feel free to comment down below and leave the like down side. And that's it for me. Thank you for joining in and I will see you in the next review.